Okay, back in business, let's go. I haven't got too long, so we'll get straight into it. I'm going to put a little bit of colour down these masks with a brush now, just to give it that bit of a timber look. Break it up from that dark we got happening there. Okay. Now I'm just going to pick up a brush. Get that sweep of that hole looking. Okay, I'm going to put in another one now. Before we do, we'll get that reflection in there. And we'll also put in the reflection of the sail. And we're going to put in another one in a moment. Okay, I've actually got another another mast behind there just to make it look even more interesting. I'll put one in. There's another boat in there somewhere. And a bit of the old. There we go. Timber look. Let's get those stays in back in there as well. Just doesn't matter. Here we go. Just get it on. That's what we have to worry about. Okay, I can get a few lights on there too if you like. And let's go straight into one of these sails here as well. Okay. That one's back in behind there. And we have another one which is going to come out like that. Okay, and we're going to have a bit of a boom sticking out here as well. Oh, looks interesting. Let's get this top one going as well. Bit of the old orange on there. Now, if you're going to have a go at this painting, try and do it fast. You're going to get great effects. Don't worry about too much about the lines and things. It all adds to the effect of the painting. A little bit of red in there as well. Don't know what it is, but let's get it on there. Okay, another painting, another boat, sorry, we're going to get in here. Same deal, practice with your knife. And down there as well, this one's going to have to come down just a bit more. Wipe that out, put it back in. See, it doesn't matter, have a few goes at it. Stuff it up, what can happen? Fix it. Okay. And we can even have a bit of the old Volution Violet back there as it goes around the corner. Get our little fan here and we're just going to take that, that sloping hole shape, get a little bit of that Volution Violet back in there as well and we're just going to fan that. So we've done the same thing over and over. Let's get rid of our sail reflection there in the water. And once again, we have another mast up here. We can even have it. There we go. A few darks on there on deck. Now we've got a little bit of colour happening here. We can even have a few people. Brighten it up with a bit of a yellow. He's got a yellow jacket on. Someone's sitting up the bow over here. Just playing around with some ropes and that, getting ready for sail. A couple of people over there back in the other boats, and we can put those in the water, reflect them. It's all going to add to the effect. Put a little bit of a head on there. Cut the bottom off. Let's get that boat happening back in here. Okay, a little bit of yellow ochre. It's all going to be in the water. We're going to reflect it all and fan it. Don't forget we've got those masks coming down as well. This is going to set it off. While I've got the brush I'll get a bit of brown out of that as well. Just that timber looks what we're after. Okay. Bit of something up there. All right, let's go. We need some posts in the water. Use the same brush. 
We can even put one there. One out a bit further. And bring them closer, they're gonna get bigger, of course. Where's our fan that she is? Just a gentle fan with that. Should have fanned that before I did that one, probably. Okay, let's get that back in there. Now we can use our knife just to get a bit of bit of water happening over these reflections. And we might even get time to put a seagull in. A little light on those posts. We can even uh, highlight some of these parts of this sail. Take that past that one. And we've got that bit of orange coming up the bottom of the sail there. Fan it. Okay. And while we're at it, just clean that brush. It's not the one I want. There we go. And just put a few lines down there. Don't forget, we've got those bit of rigging there as well. Just about finished. Put a little light on the side of our posts here. See if we can get a seagull in in time. Okay. And back there too. A bit of dark for his head. A couple of people there doing something on board. Just about done. Okay, we need a bit of... Uh, Bit of knife work with our trusty little palette knife. And we're just gonna give it a little bit of this look. And we're gonna throw a frame, we're not surely. Don't forget we're using the safe products, the W oils, water soluble. And don't forget as well, very important, all these paintings are for sale. So you can go online, check it out. WayneClemens.com.au and they're all for sale. All the proceeds going to the RACQ Care Flight Rescue Team, who do a fantastic job. And don't forget, as well, a lot of information to tell you in the last minute, but we've also got the kits available as well for anyone who wants to have a go. It's all good fun. Bit of a signature here. Okay. We haven't got those highlighted, those birds yet. We've got to put that on or you won't see them. There we go. Even a little bit of a... A bit of a beak. So we'll get the signature happening, get the frame on it, finished product. But look, it's a very quick painting, you can change it around, you can put the boats in any position, any colour scheme, but it's a great little painting to use as a practice for your um, impressionism, because that's what it's all about. It'll better than anything. Okay. There's our signature, just gonna clean my hands. We're just gonna put a uh, frame on that and see how she looks. She'd come up all right. There you go, finished product. Look, you can even do a little, few little things like uh, just a bit of rope over the side or something, you know. <sighs> Make it look interesting. That's what it's all about. There we go. Just about done, I think. And just one more thing, a bit of rope around here. There we go. Finished product. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a bit of fun with it. Don't forget, you can change your scheme, change it around, have a bit of play. Okay, look, thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time on Art Studio, bye.